All right, guys, welcome to another video. Western Sharpies RC. Picked this bad boy up the other day uh, from a guy locally on uh, Marketplace. Got a really good deal on it and uh, just had to have it. Um, super cool looking, very unique. I've never seen anything quite like this. It's, it's a little different than the uh, Lozy Grave Digger. Not quite as uh, nice um, or as uh, capable, but still really nice. Like I said, it was a good deal. And uh, the body itself is uh, pretty neat. You can see whoever did this did a really nice job with the patina. Uh, the guy I bought it off didn't really know much about it, and uh, neither do I. I mean, I'll uh, start kind of going over things slowly and figuring out what's what, but it looks really good. I mean, the first thing I usually do when I buy something used is take a look underneath and you can see uh, no scratches on the skid plate or the, or the links or the axles, so. Um, it's definitely brand new in that sense. Uh, really nice, it's got uh, no body clips. It's all on magnets, really strong. And uh, you can kind of see some of the details of the uh, body. A little bit of patina on there. Got a couple of decals on there. Really like these body lines on those old 50s uh, uh, trucks. This is the, uh, the original body that they used on the uh, digger. It's the 52 uh, Ford uh, panel body. Um, went online and found out. That's got to be it right there. So you see this one here has got a little bumper, which I've already started to work on. So I thought I'd do a little video here and kind of go around it and uh, show you what it looks like before I start tinkering with it. But uh, I'd like to give it an interior and uh, all kinds of little details you see here. The grill looks pretty good. It's got stickers for headlights. Uh, for now, but hopefully I can pop those off and get some lenses in there and give it some light. Like I said, a little interior with some some details and some lighting in there. I'm gonna go creepy with this thing. So um, anyway, got a couple of things uh, done so far here. Got a little Joe Blow uh, dashboard from Thingiverse that I think will work once I sand it a little bit and uh, paint it up. Maybe put a couple of lights in there. That'll look all right. Uh, what else do we got here? This guy here, I'd like to have driving it. Or I'll just uh, make a new figurine out of this 3D printed skull. A little bench seat, so. I'll figure it out as I go. go. I'll, I'll probably stretch this out over a couple of videos. I started working on this uh, little bumper. I whipped this thing up really quick. I just made it out of uh, wooden dowels. And uh, I've given it a, a coat of primer and then I got that metal. It's that uh, metal modern ma masters or whatever it's called, that rusting patina kit. So anyway, I got the, uh, the primer on there and I got that um, iron uh, paint on there as well. So the next thing to do is just to spray it with the, uh, the oxidizer and then it'll start to rust. So I think that'll look pretty good and it fits in there really good too. Just like that. Got a nice little front bumper, can probably take a few little wax and then uh, maybe make something up for the back here. Okay, That's pretty much it. Let's see here. Let's get this body off so I can show you guys. The... Oh, it's super cool with the magnet. Look at that. That's not coming off. But anyway, um, like I said, looks like it's brand new. Whoever built this thing. Did a pretty decent job. Um, I don't recognize this frame. Like I said, I think it's an axial frame, maybe. I don't know. Could be a lot of Joe Blow parts, like, uh, just eBay stuff. But everything's metal. The uh, the panhard bar, the the axles. If I get rid of that uh, junky tier or Traxxas servo, especially trying to turn big big wheels like this, you want something with uh, lots of torque, but. Anyway, you can see here it's got the uh, Castle uh, ESC and uh, censored motor, which in itself is worth a few bucks. So I think that might even be a, uh, a two-speed tranny in there. I don't know. I don't know much about these uh, axials, if that's even what it is, but I think it is for some reason. Um, yeah, lots of... Uh, put this thing back on so it looks cooler. Lots of travel too for a, for a monster truck. 
But anyway, guys, I'll probably spread this out over a couple of videos. Um, yeah, that's it. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you in the next one.